Well, one of the negatives of COVID-19 has been a decrease in primary care uh, doctor visits because some people have just sought to reduce face-to-face -face interactions. And this compounds the fact that the number of Americans with primary care physicians continues to decrease with 25% of people lacking this type of ongoing relationship with their doctor. Now, reversing that trend is very important, especially since people with a PCP are more likely to receive high-value care services and report better care access compared to those without a PCP. And joining us today to discuss this is Dr. Ken Adams, Chief Medical Officer with United Healthcare. Uh, so go ahead and take a look at what he has to say. Primary care is really the bedrock of our nation's healthcare system. It's long considered a first source for medical care, and your primary care physician represents a key resource to help provide various types of care, including preventing illness, detecting illnesses and diseases as early as possible. We know that primary care provides, providers may help to more conveniently and affordably meet people's day-to-day -day healthcare needs, including annual checkups, preventative screenings, routine care, and chronic condition management. And typically, primary care providers act as a principal point of care for people as they navigate the healthcare system. They help identify risk factors for diseases, they manage chronic disease care for longevity and better quality of life, and they coordinate with other care specialists. And most importantly, research shows that strengthening primary care bonds contributes to improved access to healthcare services, better health outcomes, and a decrease in hospitalization and use of emergency departments. Variations in quality and cost of health care are a significant challenge for many people and the health care system broadly. And in large part, it's because many individuals may be unaware of how to appropriately identify and evaluate quality care providers. You know, as a starting point, people can compare publicly available online patient reviews from Yelp or Google, but you need to take those with a little bit of grain of salt. For a more detailed analysis, though, some health plans offer online search capabilities that denote high performing care providers as determined by national standardized measures for quality and local geographic area benchmarks for cost efficiency. So you're not really depending on someone's personality or just whether they were in a bad mood that day that they put their Google review up. More broadly, some health plans and hospitals provide available cost information online, including actual contracted rates for hundreds of shoppable medical services. This enables people to compare quality and cost information and can contribute to physical and financial health. So when it comes to evaluating the right setting for care, a doctor's office is not always the only way to access in-person care. For instance, people enrolled in United Healthcare's Medicare Advantage plans may have access to something we call house calls, which provides an annual in-home health and wellness visits from the convenience and privacy of your own home. Technology continues to reshape how we all live, including how people access healthcare. In fact, smartphones and desktop computers are making it possible for some people to access care virtually. Local physicians are increasingly adopting this technology to quote unquote, see patients. This is especially important amid COVID-19 as many people continue to avoid face-to-face -face interactions when possible. Importantly, we've seen a more than tenfold increase in the use of virtual care since the emergence of COVID-19, including urgent, preventative, and chronic condition management. And a lot of people say that when they visit their doctor virtually, they report no difference in the quality of the visit compared to an in-person appointment. And you don't have to pay for parking and you don't have to wait in the doctor's office and you don't have to drive your car someplace and worry about commute times. The virtual experience is really great. People can check with their health plan or local care providers to determine what types of virtual resources may be available, ranging from urgent care, remote patient monitoring programs, and even teledentistry and tele hearing resources. In general, accessing medical services virtually is much more cost effective than other settings such as urgent care or the emergency room. Virtual care appointments may uh, be even more affordable in some cases with little or no cost sharing for consumers. Given the improved convenience and affordability, we expect virtual care to become increasingly popular and this technology represents an important way to help more Americans establish or re-establish a relationship with healthcare professionals. Now, for more information on how the team at United Healthcare can help you, then feel free to visit uhc.com.